Ladies with Sonia, Michael, and Amanda Labar. Amanda's book is called Doll Parts. It's out now. Uh, let's go back to the phones, and then we're going to play a really fun game. Caller, what's your name, and from where are you calling? Hi, Andy. Hi. This is Allison in Louisville, Kentucky. Hey. My question is for the fabulous Sonia Morgan. Okay. I was wanting to know how surprised were you when you saw that Ramona picked Dorinda to stay in the Hamptons over you? Okay, does anything Ramona does surprise me? No, but I was hurt because I just keep getting shoved out of the group all the time for our new friend Dorinda. You know, I keep saying yes, everyone We've knows all known everyone knows Dorinda for ten years, but <laughs> I'm a good friend of Ramona's. So, you know, we sleep in the same bed together, we poop in the same toilet. <laughs> do you do that with Dorinda? Okay, and Luann, we're really good friends. She lived at my home and married my ex lover. All right? Ooh. So why are these girls like every time, well, Dorinda's coming. Well, okay, well, you you have to be disinvited now. Okay, how, that's how I feel about it. Back to the phones. Call her, what's your name, and from where are you calling? Tiffany from Ohio. Okay. Um, my question's for Michael. Okay. What has been the most shocking moment to you thus far on the four-part Atlanta reunion, and are you more Team Phaedra or Candy? Man, the most shocking part I feel like hasn't come, but I That's am for damn sure. waiting. <laughs> I would ask, is, is it magic? I mean, I, I, I'm scared. At first, I was like, this is going to be great. Then I was like, I, I, I feel scared for them. You mentioned The Godfather. It's like that. Like a horse in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. whose side are you on, Candy or Phaedra? I'm on, I'm on Candy's. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Candy's side. You I think love Fa Candy. I love Candy, but I, I've always loved Phaedra. But I Me feel too. like, you know, what she did with Johnny w was rotten and not cool <laughs> and, and, and outside of the group. And, and I, have to go with, I have to go with Candy. I feel like there's a secret, a secret life with Phaedra that she's not revealing. But I, but I have compassion for what she's dealing with. Back to the phones. Call her. Well, what's your name and from where are you calling? You. Hi, Andy. My name's Jamie. I'm calling from New York City. Hey, Jamie, what's your question? My question is for Sonia. Okay. I want to know, do you think Carol's being too overbearing about the election, or do you think Bethany's just not interested if the conversation isn't about her? Oh, no, definitely. I, I like that Bethany stood up and said that she was being elitist because I deal with this every day like any other person in America right now. If you're not on one side or the other, you can't. Speak your issue. And everyone should be able to speak their issue, whether they're educated on the subject or not. You have to hear the other side so the other person can explain their side. I, I agree. I agree. I, I, it's a as, conversation. As far as TV, Carol talking about the election and Bethany just being like, what's up? Right. It's been great. And then also, also, Carol, if you have so much information, share it with Sonia and Ramonia and the rest of the world. I think that, but that, that, share it. But them, them two going back and forth. Well, what I love is it was actually happening all over America at right. that time. So That's what was there are people on Twitter who are like, I don't want to hear about the election right. from this show. It's like, this is what was happening in yeah. October right. and November of this year. It, so there's a little bit of, uh, of what Carol is going through, whatever side you're on and all of us. I think it's a, like a historical moment, that, that little yeah. storyline. Yeah, exactly. Back to the phones. Uh, last call. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Corey from White Plains. Hey, what's your question? Hey, Andy, I love your show. Thanks. Hi, Michael. Loved you and justified. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan. My question is for you. Be honest. Is your real issue with Dorinda that you weren't invited to the trip in the Berkshires? It seems like too small of a thing to be this upset about. Okay, it wasn't about not being invited to the Berkshires. It was about, I'm very allergic to this friend jumping stuff. So these were my really good friends and she was someone that everyone had known for 10 years. I was invited the year before with my really good friends to Dorinda's house. Then the following year for all these flimsy excuses, I'm not invi invited with my really good friend group. There comes the pain and the stab. And it happens all the time. You, you meet these people that you've always seen out at cocktail parties. They come into your friend group, and then there's the dinner the next night that you're not invited to, or the front row at the fashion show, and they don't include you. That's how I felt. I felt like somebody else was with my friends, and I'm not there. And I needed to get with Bethany. There was this whole blow up that they were stirring the pot on. OK, That's season it. eight, season eight. Season eight. <laughs> um. 
felt like Dorinda's, uh, you know, not inviting you to the to the Berkshires in general was to protect you from a whole blow up happening, which inevitably happened, even though you weren't there. Don't but let I felt me like say what I need to say. Okay? Say it. No. Say what you got to say. Andy Sonia. Knows. No. Season eight. All right, <laughs> it's game time, everybody. In honor of Sonia's star turn in the Off Broadway Smash Sex Tips for Straight Women from a Gay Man, let's play just the sex tip. Sonia, <laughs> I have some sex questions, real sex questions, anonymously submitted Ooh, that's a nice by box. my staff. Let's look at the box. I don't want to get this schmutz all over me. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I might nice. bring that home and have boys pull cards, see what they get. Okay. Okay. Um, so my staff has submitted these questions. You can both weigh in. My partner loves dirty talking. I feel like I'm so bad at it. Do you have any go to phrases you'd recommend for a novice? Go to phrases for a novice to do? For dirty talking. I don't like dirty talk. I like. Okay. Dirty sex. Anything? <laughs> There's nothing that I could say on TV, online, that would be appropriate in that thing. <laughs> Thank you for checking yeah. yourself. After how many dates is it okay to ask your partner to do anal? Man. I never ask for anal. <laughs> I don't ask for anal, men do. Oh, right, yeah. After how many, after how many dates is it, after... Hey, I, give me anal! That's a stroke of genius right there. So. <laughs> After, after how many dates oh, is it? Answer. After how many dates is it appropriate for a man to expect anal from a girl? I don't think you could Never ever expect anal. No. <laughs> What's your number one rule when it comes to sex on the first date? Listen, you don't 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 catch feelings on the second date. No deep date. kissing. Only deep kissing. No on the... deep kissing on the first night of sex. I hate that deep kissing. No kiss. deep wait, wait. kissing on the first night of sex. Isn't deep kissing a part of sex? No? Just the, just the penis. Just the... Yo, I think that she's deep unpredictable, kissing. man. Yo, you're way out there, Sonia. I hate that deep kissing. That deep kissing is intimate. The deep kissing is intimate, but sex with somebody you don't really know is not intimate? Yeah, because you can put a condom on. I, I like her style. I do, too. Mm -hmm. She put is. condom on. She is kind of like a gay dude, yeah. I gotta tell you. She's like uh, a dude dude. That's what John's flag says. Do you think watching porn while having sex is hot, or do you think it's too distracting? Distracting. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. I don't get that either. I, you, need, you need that to get going, then you don't need me. If you go home with someone you just met at a bar, are you recommended to go back to your place or his? Well, when the kid is at home, you need to come. But now I don't have the kid home, go to yours. Uh, you mentioned that you went to Tom's place. With After Tom. my daughter went to boarding school, I could go to Tom's. Right. Man. He has more vodka. Um, <laughs> I'm going on a date and I want to wear Spanx under my dress, but I also think I want to sleep with him after. Are Spanx going to totally ruin the mood? I never wear Spanx. That's disgusting. <laughs> Lingerie. Right. Don't wear the Spanx. Or none. Is our Spanx a mood killer if you see a lady with the Spanx? Uh, nah. I don't, I don't necessarily think so. I think it's all right. I think it's all right. I want to experiment with role play. What's the best scenario to act out for a beginner? Nurse, teacher, student. Lingerie. Lingerie. <laughs> for a beginner. Start with Victoria's Secrets. But like, is there a scenario you like? Like a role play, not, uh, a, not, a, not a blindfold or something. I mean, a beginner, you, no, you're not going to know not, what to do. You're talking about fabric. He's, he wants like a character. Uh, it's two it, words. Okay, waitress. A waitress. <laughs> a waitress. Yeah, like a waitress with it, and you go. <laughs> you know, you know. It's like. Can I... <laughs> it's easy. Okay. That's for a um, beginner. My husband and I are in a sex slump. Can you give me some advice on how to initiate sex in a new, exciting way? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Come on, Sonia. <laughs> I never had to initiate it. You know, I was married for how long to the old guy, and we never had to do any initiating. The old guy. What advice would you give someone who is thinking of sleeping with their coworker? No, oh, I'd like to know who no, submitted no, that. No, 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 no. I just want to say, because these were submitted by the staff, I know who you are. I know you want to sleep with me. No, no, no. Don't do it. It's always better to have a job. I want to, too. It's not appropriate. No. Maybe at, the, at our L.A. rap party. <laughs> Bye. Sonia, um, as a little present for you, we have this Aunt Dress Up Andy Magnet set. Uh
that you can put on your refrigerator. Love it. This looks okay. That, I that looks like Obama. Like I thought it looked Everybody. like a, Apollo from Atlanta at first. I do look, look a lot like Apollo from Atlanta. He and I are very and that's similar. Definitely welcome. And then we have these Mazel sweats for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. They're all available at shopbybravo.com. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah. The Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.